Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. To be honest, I'm happy with my analysis for the last week. It was really accurate and right on the spot, except for the USD CHF and the gold. Uh, but for the other pairs, it was accurate actually. And total, I think we got uh, between 75 to 80 percent accurate levels. So, without further ado, let's go now and start the weekly analysis for this uh, week. So let's start with the Euro USD as usual. So last week I mentioned that the Euro USD will be good to start buying right on this level and there is a possibility that the Euro USD will fall a little bit more down until hitting this support right here uh, to the level 1.09959. That is exactly what happened. Euro USD did not reverse on this support, uh, previous support level. It actually went down and hit on this support level and from there it reversed and by the way I'm having some issues with my windows I'm trying to activate it since like a month it's not getting activated anyway <laughs> so indeed EURUSD has reversed as I mentioned from this previous support it went up for about 70 pips I believe 75 pips and then reverse again hitting on this support for the third time and now it's reversing so in general the euro usd is heading up it's going up but the problem is we cannot buy it right now we have to wait the right moment to start buying the euro usd now if we check the daily candles however we can see that the market is ranging on this level and it's really complicated right now because we are having on daily candles we have now this double bottom and ho also here we are having triple bottom so in general euro usd is indeed going up but the question is where should i place my buy now to be safe the best level to place your buy order is gonna be exactly on the level 1.0967 sorry 1.09679 because it seems like the euro usd is going to attempt another triple bottom on this level of the support that is what I'm thinking because we are having here a lot of pressure from the buy from the sellers. The market is facing a pressure on this resistance, and right now it's in, it's going in a consolidation mode for almost two weeks. So in the end, I believe EURUSD should be good for buy right on this support level, uh, exactly right here. So let's check where the EURUSD is expected to reverse. Now I believe right now is the right moment for the euro usd to start reversing after hitting this previous resistance right here and breaking from this previous support now it's retesting the level so i'm expecting to be honest that on monday morning the market will open actually at a lower level maybe about here or here somewhere i think it will be on lower level than this it's not gonna be higher than that to be honest i think that and then if this happens then please wait for the euro usd to go a little bit more down hitting the support 1.09679 then you can start buying or you can keep your position for buying the euro usd expect it to go a little bit even more down to the support level until here uh, that is about yeah just like 30 28 to 30 pips it's possible so this is your support zone where you actually should start buying the euro usd hoping for it to go up and if it does go up here i'm expecting it let me just check the daily chart again yeah if it goes from this level it will obviously gonna continue keep going until hitting right here this resistance level so again euro usd is good for buy from this level of the support or it can go down to this level but every and in, in any way keep your you keep your trade for almost 100 pips until it hit the resistance 1.10646 sorry <clears throat> let's check now the pound usd so as i said in the last video the us the pound usd has reversed at exactly this resistance level it went up for about 43 44 pips against the trade but then eventually it went down reversing on this resistance for almost 70 to 72 pips now let's check what, what happened exactly on the pound usd now as i mentioned it reversed on this resistance right but i mentioned that after hitting this resistance it's gonna go down 
and there is a possibility for it to reverse on this previous support and then it will go up now this has happened already at the beginning of this week the pound usd has reversed and indeed it hit the very same level i mentioned and it already reversed from the same level and reversed again on this resistance so now what is expected from the pound usd now let me tell you uh, check these two weeks here after this bearish breakout candle so we are having here resistance levels and here also we are having these two wicks here in the, let me just uh, zoom in so you can see it so the, we have here a resistance level and here and here and here and we are having this bearish breakout candle so these four resistance levels has also been retested and that is represented by these two wicks uh, on these two red, ca two red candles so meaning the market has already retested this level of the resistance and seems to be reversing so in general but the pound usd is going down is going to go down all the way until hitting the same previous support level i don't see the pound usd going up at all maybe a little bit only to hit this previous resistance right here let me just be accurate as much as possible exactly so expect for the pound usd to go about 40 pips 45 pips against you or i will tell you something wait for the pound usd to see what will gonna happen most likely it will go up to this uh, previous resistance on 1.25122 then it will be a really good idea to start selling the pound usd and keep your trade running and for uh, for almost 110 pips until it hit the level 1.23986 after that we can expect for the pound usd to actually continue to fall more down but that's not going to happen until next week so pound usd i think it will gonna go down immediately but to be safe just to be safe you can okay you can start selling the pound usd immediately but to be more safe and to save your pips and money start selling on 1.25122 keep it running until 1.23986 let's go now to the AUD USD so AUD USD has reversed actually I was expecting for the Euro USD to go to keep to continue its bullish momentum until it hitting this resistance on 0 0.69095 but however it just started reversing before this level and it's way going down here now so it's hitting down but however I believe if we use the trend lines we can tell that it let me just try it so I will just draw my trend line here like that then just drag it and yes I uh, it seems like the AUD USD is gonna continue its bearish momentum until it hit, it hit this previous support right here we can see that here we have a support level and here as well and we have here this bullish breakout candle so this support is gonna keep its position as a support so I'm expecting on daily candles that AUD USD will continue going down until hitting this support level and then it will continue to go up until hitting let me just be more accurate huh? uh, here <laughs> sorry I said it in Arabic word <laughs> let me just be more accurate now uh, how many pips is that 33 not worth it I think yes until this previous resistance right here so 62 pips yes that seems all right because we're having on daily candles triple bottom as well and this movement seems like it was due some event or some news to be honest with you i'm not really sure but anyway on technical analysis it doesn't seem like AUDUSD is breaking from this support and going down no i believe it will go up on this level 0 0.67469 and you can keep your trade running this is now for our chart now we can see it even more clear actually we can see that we are exactly on the support level yes so you can keep you can start buying AUD, AUD USD on 0 0.67464 and keep it until 6, 0 0.68081 we are talking about 62 pips hopefully will be in profit because actually after this level because we are facing here a strong resistance I believe AUD USD after hitting on this resistance it might actually go down so we are just looking for this bounce here 
that is what I'm aiming and hopefully it will be profitable for everyone let's check now the USD CAD so USD CAD has also went as I told you in the last week uh, I said that this will be a good level to start selling the USD CAD and this will be the best level to close your trade that is what happened indeed a USD CAD reversed on the resistance on 1.32915 and just kept its uh, momentum until the uh, until the level of the support 1.32489 so what's gonna happen now to the USD CAD to be honest it's really complicated right now it's hard to decide because now the market is going in a consolidation mode and now it's ranging on this level on this zone here so let's go to the daily candles so we can see it more in action uh, on daily candles by the way I have to mention that I have used the trend line understanding or the trend line science that is what a lot of people are actually arguing me about and look how accurate the result is I mentioned that the USD CAD will reverse right on this resistance because I used the understanding of trend line strategy sorry the uh, trend line strategy where I'm just drawing the resist the trend line on the key support or key resistance and just drag it on any level that is what I did here and the market has reversed exactly as I mentioned that's a good message for those who are doubting this strategy anyway it's reversed and now I believe the market will go down now let's see here because we are having here four weeks here these are indicating that there is a lot of pressure from the buyers sorry from the sellers and here also we are having a resistance and right here as well so in general USD CAD is now on a resistance level on the daily candles so what should we do actually if you want to be more safe I highly recommend you to wait again for the USD CAD to go up to make a fifth attempt of this resistance on 1.32915 and again sell the USD CAD and again keep the same target actually USD CAD signal is simply repeated from the last week because what I'm telling you here most likely the market will continue ranging on this level because we are stuck now on a very strong resistance level and also a very strong support that doesn't seem like the USD CAD is now breaking from this resistance or the support so to be safe I actually to be honest with you I personally hate trading any market when it's in a ranging uh, scale or a ranging uh, level that's why if I have to give a signal about the USD CAD I would sell uh, the CAD on this resistance and keep my trade only on this resistance uh, sorry on this support just to be safe you don't have to be risky and make a bet uh, that the USD CAD will break this uh, resistance or will break the support because to be honest with you it's really hard to tell if you want to check even more let's check the weekly and it's telling us almost the same so again uh, USD signal USD CAD signal is simply repeated from the last week and hopefully it will be safe for everyone let's go to the USD GPY so USD GPY as I mentioned also sorry guys but I'm just really proud of my results uh, reversed exactly from this previous resistance as I mentioned in the last video I said the USD GPY is really good to start buying immediately now what will gonna happen is I believe the USD CAD will continue its bearish momentum but not immediately not immediately let's be more accurate USD GPY is actually expected let me just be accurate here as much as possible I'm trying to, draw, to to match my line here of the support on the resistance level right here I think this should be fine fair enough so USD GPY is actually expected to head up here to this resistance and then it's gonna continue its bearish momentum all the way until this previous support right here so we are talking about almost 100 pips of profit almost 100, 100 pips of profit so you can start selling USD GPY on 107.965 keep your position all the way let's be more accurate and more safe until the level 107.093 that is about 85 pips of profit because actually after this level it seems like the USD GPY will go will continue to go more up so let me let me just rephrase that USD GPY is good for sell only in case 
it hit on this resistance level 107.965 and then we can start selling the USDGPY until it, it hit the level 107.093 after that we can start actually buying USDGPY immediately from this level because we are facing here a previous support now let's mention let's um, let's assume that the USDGPY will actually on Monday morning open below this level for example it will open on this level here then in this case cancel the sell order and just wait for the USDGPY to hit this previous support and then buy the USDGPY and to be honest with you if you buy the USDGPY the signal will be different because actually it will continue to fly up until hitting this previous resistance so we are expecting about 191 pips of profit hopefully I really hope it will happen and everyone will make profit of it let's go now to the USDC, USDCHF again USDCHF is still ranging on this market here now we are on daily candles and we can see that the USDCHF since almost uh, three days or two days is ranging right on this previous resistance and the support so what is the right thing to do actually after seeing the let me just uh, show it to you so we are facing here a strong resistance zone now the, we can see how many attempts happened on this on the same level of the resistance let's start the counting one two three four five six seven eight nine and even that fake breakout did not work uh, 9 10 I don't know the counting I, I missed it but anyway we're having about 10 attempts of this resistance it doesn't seem that the USDC, USDCHF is breaking from this resistance so what is the right thing to do now I believe that the USDCHF should be good actually to start selling if the candle the next candle will open Monday morning will go up all this way to the previous resistance on 0 0.99247 that should be actually good level to start selling the USDCHF and I still uh, insist of my opinion since last week that the USDCHF will reverse on this resistance and should go down to hit this previous support so let me just mention until when it should be until this level right here so USDCHF good for sell on 0 0.99247 and keep your trade running until 0 0.98675 that should be a good 56 pips hopefully it will gonna happen and will give us good profit now the gold now the gold actually I mentioned that the gold should be good to start selling right on this uh, previous support here it did reverse actually actually for almost 45 pips before reversing again on this previous support and then it head up and going up all the way to this previous resistance right here so now the gold is actually a little bit complicated let me tell you uh, gold should be actually good for sell right on this level let's wait for the gold to reach this resistance level on uh, 1523.80 after that I believe it should be good to start selling the gold but don't keep it for a long time actually if since we are analyzing on daily candles we can see that here we have a previous support don't underestimate this candle this tail here on daily candle is representing actually a very strong resistance and support let me prove it to you let me put the line on this uh, line uh, on this tail here okay at the very bottom of this tail what do we see now we are having now from this very simple wick or the, the same tail let's analyze what happened so we can see that it was a support here and then it has been a resistance and a very strong resistance level right here and on the past it was also a resistance and a support and a resistance all of that I can tell only from one tail so don't underestimate it anyway expect for the gold to reverse on the level 1523 and it's going to retest this broken resistance and reverse exactly on this previous support on the level 1506 that should be about 100 170 pips of profit hopefully 
after that don't keep your trade running because most likely usd gpo uh, sorry uh, the gold will continue going up allow me to explain the reason the gold most likely heading up in general but after a long time to be honest with you because we are seeing it now here reversing on a support level for quite a long time we can see here we have the support level and the market seems to be reversing and in general in general the gold is going more up but that's not gonna happen for weeks remember this is daily candle so this might take about another 10 to 14 candles so we're talking about another two weeks at least I don't think it's gonna happen immediately the market has actually is moving very slowly and at least this resistance has to be retested so let me check for our chart yeah this previous resistance it has to be retested right here that's what I'm telling you to start or to keep your trade running and therefore we can start selling the gold right on this resistance and keep it running until the previous support I believe to be more accurate my friends it's, it's just here yeah almost 200 pips yeah I just want to be more safe hold on guys I just don't want anybody to lose anyone any money because of me so again USD gold yeah the gold sorry gold should be good for sale at 1524 keep it running until 1506 um, I really hope this will be a very profitable and good week for everyone uh, I, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching